How's it going guys? Welcome to 2018 and hopefully you're off to a great start. Uh, today is a pretty fun day. So my family and I were going to do a tour at the High West Distillery near Park City in Utah. And been up here before but it's always fun to tour the distillery and do a tasting afterwards. So it should be pretty fun. <laughs> Dad and I have been here before a couple of times. Or you've been here once. 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 My mom hasn't been here before though. So this is her first time touring a whiskey distillery. So I think she's pretty excited. We're just waiting for the tour to start. It starts in about 10 minutes and they have tours running throughout the day. They have one start at 11, they go until 3 or 4, I believe. And it's about a 45 minute tour. And they just show you the process and how they make the whiskey and everything like that. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. And then afterwards you can do a tasting. Um, because of Utah State Law though, it does cost money. So it's not a free tasting. However, you know, I highly recommend trying it out because it's, it's really good whiskey. And a good variety and there's a lot of stuff to try out. So before I begin the tour, I'm gonna share some facts with you about this place. So High West Distillery initially started as a small little distillery in Park City, Utah. But then, eventually, once they gained popularity, they opened up this place right here in Wanship, Utah, which is just maybe like half an hour away from Park City. Uh, they opened this place up in 2015 on the beautiful Blue Sky Ranch, which is uh, pretty much like a dude ranch that had plenty of different activities to do. And uh, our shuttle driver up here mentioned that they're actually building like a full-blown hotel so people can come up here and stay and relax and do all those fun activities and everything like that. It's located in Wanship, Utah, just a short drive from Park City. If you're ever in Park City and you want to come visit this distillery, and I highly recommend that you do, uh, just head down to I-80 and then head east on I-80 until you reach one, the exit for Wanship, Utah, which is exit 155, and then just follow the signs to uh, the distillery. After waiting for about 5 or 10 minutes, our tour guide came and got us and it was time to begin our tour. So the other group hasn't showed up to the tour yet, so right now we're starting out pretty much as a private tour. So, that's fun. Make sure you show up on time now if you schedule one. The tour starts off with a brief history of the High West Distillery and then jumps into the history of how whiskey came to be. After the brief history lessons, you get a very nice detailed walkthrough of the whiskey making process. They walk you from the beginning all the way to the end and even show you where they do like the blending and the tasting and everything like that for the final product. It's really interesting to see the entire process and the amount of effort it takes to create a single bottle of whiskey. finished up the tour of the distillery. My battery's running low, so I hope it doesn't run out. Uh, tour guy was great, his name is Greg. Now we're gonna do some tastings, so just get a flight. Uh, yeah, okay. So they have three different flight options that you can do here. So they have their core, which has all their grains, or sorry, their grain one right there. And it has all the grains that they put in their whiskey, or that they make whiskey out of here at this distillery. Then they have the core right there. And the core is the one that is pretty much like the most popular flavor. So they sell them at stores, they're not a limited release, and they're pretty much found, always found in stores and everything. And then they have the reserve, which is the one that we decided to get. And the reserve flight is the one that has their like, <laughs> super awesome limited release whiskey or whiskey that's only seasonally available. So something that they don't have in stores every single day. So we're gonna go with that, try the good stuff. We 
got our flight of whiskey here. It's from light to dark. Did you like them? I like this Try first. one. The first one. My favorite is the most. This too, which is the <laughs> Valley Tan. And also the Bulbadier is one of my favorite ones as well. <laughs> and you don't just have to try the flights. You can also get individual whiskeys if you wanted to. They get all the ones that they offer as long as they have them in stock. And also plenty of wine and beer. And also a bunch of food. So you can get a tour of the distillery, try some awesome whiskey and eat some lunch, all in one place. So we also decided to get some food while we were up here, in addition to the flight. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. I got the beautiful looking elk burger. Right, guys, I'm gonna make this pretty quick because my battery is about to die. Uh, really should have brought an extra one. Totally forgot to throw them in my bag though. Okay, finished up the tour, ate some great food, and drank some great whiskey. Once again, if you're near Park City, go ahead and visit this place. It's really a really short drive away, and it's just awesome if you want to see how whiskey is made. If you're a fan of uh, whiskey and want to try something that's made here locally in Utah, it's a great place to come visit. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is a great start to 2018, and I'm looking forward to making more videos and everything like that. So thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.